Boots at Mud Puppy Pond. I know, but they just disappeared. Ah, I stepped on a pine cone. I wish I had my hiking boots. Wow, my hiking boots. I wish I had mine too. It's raining boots. Well, we had two wishes. Why not make it three? I wish. And coconut, no banana. No coconut, no banana. Shh, it's gooey. <laughs> Aren't you glad you didn't ask for that coconut? <laughs> I'm not goo anymore. In fact, I'm feeling good. So let's call Zabu. Zabu! Zabu! Hey, Zabu. Zabu's here. We're gonna have fun. Zabu has such soft fur, and he loves to be scratched. Zabu always gets a snack when he gets to Animal Junction. Zabu, mangoes! Whoa, hey! Mangoes are slimy, but Zabu loves them. Zabu's noisy when he eats slimy stuff. <laughs> Whoa! These are good. Hey, Zabu, who'd you see in the forest today? On my way here, I saw an animal who, 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 who had pointy sticks, pointy sticks all over her body. I can't believe my mind. Who could it be? Who could it be? <laughs> this animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? I couldn't believe my mind. She had little sticks all over. Or was it spiky fur? I can't decide. But she waddled when she walked. Yeah, really waddled. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Pongatska. Pongatska. Animal. And you know what? Get this. She likes to eat sticks. No, oh, she does. She likes to eat sticks. Whoa. But not snakes. Who could it be? This animal who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? She's a sniffy-nosed, prickly sticky. But who is she? Do you know who she is? Covered with spiky fur. All over. Little brown eyes and a round sniffy nose. Do you know who it is? I know who it is. Mongatsika, mystery animal's here. A porcupine. Ah! <laughs> Porcupine quills can really get you moving. Ow. Where there are porcupine quills, there's always a porcupine. Porcupines are incredible. Incredibly sharp. And she's covered all over with prickly things. 
They're called quills, and they're really sharp. You can say that again. And, and they're, they're really, really sharp. sharp. Ow, oh, oh, wow. How do porcupines hug on each other when they're so prickly? With a lot of vouchers, I guess. Hey, no, no, that's my arm. <laughs> Porcupines don't hug each other, and besides, most of the time she keeps them flat under all this fur. Porcupine quills are strictly for protection. Like when you go rollerblade and wear a helmet. That's protection. Martin, remember when we were creature adventuring up north? We saw a fisher tracking the scent of a porcupine. Now that meant trouble, because fishers eat porcupines. When the fisher got too close, pow! Up went the porcupine quills. The fisher backed off because he didn't want a face full of quills. That's protection porcupine style. <laughs> Sav? Sav? What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to raise my hairs for protection. You know, it's only when she's scared or surprised, that's when her quills stand up. So let's make sure we don't surprise uh, 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 uh. Don't sneeze, Martin. You might surprise her. And then her quills might stand up. My God, it's under control. Uh, uh. Oh, Martin, you made her quills stand up. They look sharp. Wow, look at all these quills. She's prickly, but I'm soft. You can tell a porcupine anywhere just by looking at her quills. Whoa, but you shouldn't touch. Frickly. But look over at this end. Look over here. Her face and her nose are really, really soft. Oh, let me see. Woo! No! Look out! Sharp chompers! Porcupines can't see very well, but they have a great sense of smell. I wonder what she's sniffing for. <laughs> she walks with a waddle. Let's try it. Do the porcupine waddle. Everybody waddle. <laughs> OK, creatures, get on all fours. Waddle. <laughs> They're walking like porcupines. <laughs> hey, where are you going? Maybe that's what she's sniffing for. Food. Hey, Porky, you want a snack? <laughs> I guess that means she does. Let's see now. Uh, Wolverine kibble? Uh, no. Uh, Signet supper? No. Uh, ah, porcupine. <laughs> I knew she was hungry. Look at those little clawed paws. She eats corn just like we do. Everybody loves chowing down on corn on the cob. Whether you're a kid, a porcupine, or a crap brother. We're eating just like porcupines. I'm a round and round guy. I'm an end to end guy. Hmm, finish. <laughs> I'm feeling kind of feathery. <laughs> I'm proud of it. <laughs> Martin, don't sneeze or her quills will stand up again. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thanks, Sab. You're welcome. When a predator touches a porcupine, the porcupine's quills come out and end up stuck in the predator's nose. Because if you sniff too close to a porcupine... Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Just call me porcupine nose. <laughs> hold steady. Huh? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Here, hold on. Oh. Uh. Wow. Well, guys, you better put those back. Otherwise, the porcupine won't be able to protect herself. <laughs> well, it's too late for that now, Zabu. But don't worry. Porcupine quills grow back, just like hair. Now that's a great haircut. And you know, porcupine quills are hair, too. Hard hair? Mine are soft. Hers are hard. 
And get this, mm -hmm. each one of the porcupine's quills are hollow. A porcupine's quill is hollow, like this straw. <laughs> so they don't weigh so much. What if they weren't hollow? It'd be like having to carry around this all day. Whoa! <laughs> It'd be heavy. Hey, Chris, I'm feeling porcupine-ish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel porcupine-ish. How about you, porcupine-ish? Feeling porcupine-ish. Porcupine-ish. I'm a spiky-haired porky waddling all around. Porcupine-ish. A porcupine's feet are a lot like our feet. Except for those claws. Well, I didn't know you could climb. A porcupine is a pretty good climber. She uses her sharp claws to dig into the bark. What are you looking for up here, Porky? A porcupine climbs trees to eat leaves and bark. That kind of bark. This kind of bark. In fact, bark is a porcupine's main food in the wintertime. But it doesn't look like she wants any right now. I don't think she's sleepy either. Because this is a perfect place for a porcupine to take a snooze. But you're right, Zob. She doesn't look like she wants to sleep right now. She is still sniffing around. What are you looking for, Porky? She's licking a rock. Salt! Of course, she needed salt all along. Porcupines lick a lot of salt, especially in winter. Scarlet macaws love salt too, and they get it from the clay they eat. And there's another clay eater, howler monkeys. I think she's leaving. Now that she's had her salt, I think Porky's leaving. Bye, Porky. <laughs> <laughs> when a porcupine wants to go somewhere, she has the right of way. Porcupines are great. <laughs> it's okay, Martin. Porky's gone home. You can sneeze now. <laughs> oh, yeah, go ahead. Sneeze. <laughs> Coming. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a duck! duck! Wow, it's a sacred falcon. Wow, she's feathery, really feathery and soft. Well, is it a message from Jackie? You got it, Zob. Why did the duck cross the road? to get to my puppy pond, and I'm their crossing guard. I'm here to help make way for ducklings. Come little ducks, it's safe to cross now. Hold on, little duck. Ooh, you're so soft. Petting ducklings sure is a lot different than petting a porcupine. <laughs> if you've pet animals before, you know they all feel different. Some animals feel smooth, like a dolphin. Some animals feel furry, like a bear. Some animals feel wet, <laughs> like a fish. Some animals feel scaly, like a rattlesnake. Some animals feel pointy, like a prehensile-tailed porcupine. Some animals feel soft, like a guinea pig. Some animals feel slimy, like a salamander. You know one of the best places to check out animals? The petting zoo. Great idea, Chris. Do you want to pet some animals? Yeah, come They're on. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to, the closet. to grab their stuff and split. Oh, but all the stuff's going to fall on us. And you know how that feels. Don't worry, Chris. I found the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pillow Man. 
Bandanas? Let's go! We're going on a cool hey, adventure and they don't know what's in store. Come on, they're Martin. coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Come on! Hey Chris, you have your skates? Yeah, let's roll! The petting zoo! This is a great place to get up close to animals. We're going to play Who's the Sheep? Martin is going to try to guess which of these three animals is the sheep by feeling them. Shh, don't tell him which one it is. All right, Martin, we're ready to go. <laughs> okay, which way? All right, first animal. Okay. Right here. All right. Now this animal is smooth and sleek, but sheep are woolly. So this can't be a sheep. It might be a small cow, but it's definitely not a sheep. Okay, Chris. All right, go. next animal. Right over here. Where? Over here, this way, Martin. Which, over which here. way? Right over here. Here? Right here. Okay. Well, I felt a wet nose, and the fur is very smooth. But sheep don't have smooth fur, so this can't be a sheep. It might be a dog, but it's not a sheep. Okay, next animal. <laughs> Where? Right over here. Right here. Oh, that's you, Chris. <laughs> okay, whoops, okay, oh, that was the cow. Wait a second. This animal's woolly. You know what? I think we found the sheep. This must be the sheep. Yeah! Way to go! <laughs> Sheep are so wooly because the wool helps to keep them warm in the winter and dry in the rain. That's why people use sheep wool to make sweaters that keep them warm and dry. <laughs> hey, and you know, there are hundreds of different kinds of sheep. Let's count sheep. One, two, two three, four, five, Sheep makes me sad. We were just kidding. <laughs> okay. Now it's Chris's turn, and he is never gonna guess who this creature is. Come on in, Chris. All right, I'm ready. All right, but no peeking, okay? <laughs> okay. No peeking. All right. All right, right in there, right in there. Okay, now we just wait a second, wait a second. Hey, who just kissed me? <laughs> Mom, is that you? <laughs> it's not Mama, it's a Yama. <laughs> I knew it wasn't my mom. I was just kidding. <laughs> what a great guy. Yeah. Come on, Martin. I got a good one for you. Okay. Martin's never going to guess this animal. All right, Martin. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Right down here. Where is he? Right down here. Okay. Ah. It's long, it's smooth, it's dry. I got it. This is a snake. Definitely a snake. <laughs> Martin thinks it's a snake. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. But there are all these bristly hairs. <laughs> this isn't a snake. It's an elephant. It's toothbrush. <laughs> and you know, the reason we call her toothbrush is because she has all these short bristly hairs which are just like a toothbrush. Martin, come here. Here's a real snake. Wow. Most people think snakes are slimy, but they're actually kind of smooth and dry. Wow. Let's head back to the petting zoo. Come on. 
Did you ever realize that animals can feel so different? Hey, you know whose fur would be really fun to feel right now? Zabu's! Zabu's! Hey, let's go back to Animal Junction and see Zabu. Come on. See you guys! Bye. See you later, you guys! Bye! <laughs> Where are you? Over here, Martin. Hey, Chris! Maybe we shouldn't have tried to feel our way back to Animal Junction. You're not kidding, bro. Hey, what's this? No, 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 Chris, don't look. He has to guess. <laughs> it's hard and smooth. Oh, you feel all scritchy. And this feels kind of like a rock. I bet it's a turtle. It is. It's a red-eared slider. Oh, let me see. Wow. Wow. She moves extra slow, and her hard shell is for protection. I know protection, like porcupine's quills. A red-eared slider is a water turtle, so this is a great place for him. Oh, his fur it looks so soft. Let's check it out. Hey, wait up. This is soft fur, all right? Hey, the bottom of his feet are so soft. This fur is incredible. But then look at those sharp claws. Soft and sharp all in one foot. His belly's soft too, Martin. <laughs> hey, I wonder what it feels like to be a lynx. Let's find out. <laughs> A lynx has a great sense of balance and an awesome pounce. I'm like a lynx because I like to jump. <laughs> Feels great to leap like a lynx. He likes to play like me, too. <laughs> Here's your ball back. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice toss. Link's paws are super paws. <laughs> I got a Lynx by the tail. Mine! Oh, whoa, whoa! <laughs> hey, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 <laughs> whoa, 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 that tickles. Hey, whoa, 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 I wonder if I can get his tail. Too late, Zabu. Lynx is going home. Bye, Lynx. There goes one of the softest and coolest cats around. And I know someone who's the slimiest in Zabu land. So I was leap, leap, leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, leap, leap. <laughs> and I thought I heard a rock crying. And I said, is that a rock crying? And a sad little voice said, No, it's me, Slimantha. Well, don't cry. You just need a big hug, she said. That's why I'm sad. Nobody wants to hug with me because I'm so slimy. But I told her, I don't mind. Come on, you can give me a hug. Oh, yes, you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. It's hard to make friends when you squirt out of their hugs. But I said, I love your slimy hug. That was so much fun. Can you do it again? Oh, yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> now I'm slimy too. And it's my turn oh, to hug you. Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> I'm glad I'm slimy. <laughs> the end. I had such fun today, I couldn't believe my mind. I especially liked it when Martin and Chris were feeling lynx -ish. <laughs> And my favorite part was not sitting on that porcupine. That was close, bro. And I really loved it when we were all trying to guess which animals we were petting. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names. But we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing we have to say.
I've got a great snack for you, Zabu. Thanks. Oh, bananas. I love bananas. They're slimy, too. Excuse me. See you, Zabu! Whoa! <laughs> Chris, check out all the creatures down there. All right. This is my really cool ant farm. Look at the tunnels. 